Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. It's more part lane up action. Excitement. Without all that drama. Oh. No drama today. Just part lane up action. Excitement. Oh no, what is today? Wednesday afternoon. Take this is a 1.5 ounce. I got this from Thayer Craft too. I like the cloth they sell, guys. It is reasonable. Be sure and tell them B1 Bob sent you. Just so he knows. You know what I mean? He knows his brother Bob has got his back. I got your back. <laughs> old Bill, Wild Bill still out there watching, guys. Remember old Bill? Stopped by here and we flew on his way home from California. Me and him is going to Speed World. We're going to Speed World, baby. And this, we want to keep this pretty saturated. All the extra stuff's going to come right through the phone. See? All the extra goodies is coming out. These scissors just work. Splendidly for this. Now this is my uh, 2108 clear resin I get from Associated Industries. Axton. Axton 2108 clear epoxy resin. I sure like this stuff, guys. It is nice resin. They sell it in quarts, gallons, five gallons. They'll sell you a 55 gallon drum of it, I'm sure. <laughs> it's not made on site, but I've seen some pretty good sized drums of it. They supply to all the aircraft plants here. That's why they're located in Wichita, Kansas. We got Boeing, Beach, Cessna, Learjet. I don't know they ain't all that named anymore. Now it's Raytheon and Spirit and But to all us old timers, Beach will always be Beach. <laughs> Even though they changed that name twenty years ago. Okay, then we'll put in my phone see I've got poked holes in my phone. Heated it up, bent it. It fits in here kind of snugly, snugly. Which is not to be, not to be uh, confused with fugly. <laughs> that was a funny one right there. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, I'm really not crazy. I've been tested. <laughs> 
No. No, they probably would have kept me if they ever tested me. I said, man, Bob, I'm sorry, but you're a loon. <laughs> you, you got to stay right here, brother. We can't be letting you out in the public. No. Your old buddy Bob's the same as they come. I just entertain myself and videotape it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was funny right there. That was fun. Okay. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious and lay this part up. Now, this is my final PVC foam, polyvinyl chloride, guys of asked Mark, y'all heard it a hundred times. Well, there's someone out there, what's the name of that stuff? Where do you get it? It's just PVC foam, guys, eighth inch. PVC. PVC is PVC, I pretty much believe, no matter where you get it. There's just different densities, you know. There's real, real thick densities, and that's going to be heavier than your lighter densities. But your lighter densities will uh, dent easier, like Compar stuff. They use a real, real light density, but unfortunately, if you pick up something, it leaves a dent. <laughs> so this is probably a little more than these. I think this is like five pound. Now that original pink stuff I was using, that's, that was a real high density foam, but you can drop a screwdriver on on them 105 wings, man. They just bounce off. Okay. Too many excess. This is a little bit lighter. Density than the original stuff I used. I called to check on my foam here last week that I'd ordered and uh, somehow it didn't get ordered. So supposedly they ordered it. Like Wednesday. Last week, I think. But it will be here soon. Okay, now, let me take my tape off. I put this tape on there. So they won't get all primed up and I don't have to clean these lugs and because all that was primer plus uh, they're nice clean now. I don't get no glue on them or nothing. Okay, and then we put our pill ply. Now your green pill ply from your white pill ply. Uh, mainly the only difference is green is treated with something else. So it makes your parts come out a little easier. But then again, it's a little more money than the white. But the white does work fine. Or if you get in a pinch, you can go to Cloth World and get that stuff they make parachutes out of. It's called Rip Stop. They make dress liners, I, I believe, with it too. But you can get Rip Stop in a, like Cloth World. And uh, that does work good for a pill fly. I've used it. Not quite as good as the green. That green stuff looks good. The bad thing about it is it, is it don't contour around shapes. So you gotta cut it in little pieces. That's what I usually do. Like in a fuselage or something. 
I usually cut it in pieces to where it'll always lay flat, you know. Man, no survivor, no dang big brother, no zombie movies. Man, this is just kind of the time of year kind of blows to make some Bob TV, I guess, huh? <laughs> No Monday night football no more. Hang on. <laughs> well, Bill sent me a text. You know that. Uh, oh. Bill sent me a text today and then, or yesterday and it said, ain't it funny? How the two states that mar uh, legalized pot are getting together and having a Super Bowl. <laughs> getting together and having a Super Bowl. Denver and Seattle. Man, did you see that tantrum that Seattle guy threw after that game? Oh, he's the superstar. He's the only reason they won. And you know, it was the other guy that knocked the pass to him. You know, I thought that was so immature and childish. The way he was taunting the other players and telling everyone how good he was and it was the other guy who jumped up and knocked the football right to him. And right away, oh, he's the superstar. He had did it all on his own. It was pretty uh, hard to watch. Man, talk about unsportsmanship. Then they even, even at the press conference, after the game, it was all about him. There was no, there was no we <laughs> in any of them sentences. There was no we. You know, and they almost lost that game. That dude would have caught that ball. They would have lost. You know, where was that superstar the rest of the game? <laughs> you know, if it had been that good, they wouldn't have scored any points. But Seattle seems to be a bunch of four foot eight dudes with little man syndrome. <laughs> that quarterback, that quarterback was running for his life, man. That whole game, that Seattle, that poor little guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was running for his life. <laughs> it was actually quite comical. Yeah. He was running. In the last drive, Kaepernickel. Through an interception. Oh, they were going for the touchdown. They were six points down. Oh, it was a good game if you missed it. I just didn't like that little gloating at the end by that one dude. So, I'm not a Seattle fan anymore. <laughs> no, I never was. I'm a Peyton Manning fan. 
I like Peyton Manning. Kind of makes me mad what the Colts did to him. And the dude's in his prime. And they chucked him out the door when they thought he was a little bit hurt. Shoot, he went to Denver, took them to the Super Bowl, baby. I like Peyton Manning. I like all his TV commercials. I think he's funny. <laughs> I'm going to get this one laid up and I'm going to have to mix up some more resin. Then I'm going to put these bad boys in the vacuum bag. And then I could uh, start on my party planes tonight. Start cutting some wood. But I got to. I got a few thunder cheap parts I got to get laid up. So I'm going to get them done. While I'm doing some of this other stuff, multitask, put both of them in much. Well, Y'all know your buddy Bob ain't a loafer. big rush on this. I'll like get them in the, under vacuum in the next hour because the resin spread out all thin. This cups will go off fast but once you got it all spread out no big deal. We'll have to mix me up a little resin and uh, get them in the bag. Start on some parking planes. So we'll see you guys back in the shop. Bam!